All right, Moshe Levine writes in. Um, he's an American living in Israel. Uh, he says, if you deem stock prices to be overvalued or in a bubble, do you think it's best to keep your money in cash while waiting for prices to come down to a fair price? Or would it be a better idea to invest this money in some way while waiting until stock prices are fair again and then sell the investment to buy the stocks? Well, Charlie and I have had that discussion on a lot of things. Uh, we, we bought some stocks we really don't know that much about, and, but I'm not really comfortable doing that. You're uh, uh, used to shooting fish in a barrel, but that's gotten harder. <laughs> we've, we've got probably... 10 to 15 percent uh, of our total assets in in cash beyond what I would like to have, just as as a way of protecting our, the owners and the people that are our partners from ever having having us ever get in the pickle. You know, we 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 really run that person to make sure that 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 uh, we we don't want to lose other people's money who. Uh, We'll stick with us for years. We can't help what somebody does and buys it today and sells it tomorrow. But we, we've got a we've got a real gene that pushes us in that direction. But we've got more than we we've got probably seventy or eighty billion, uh, something like that, maybe uh, that we'd love to put to work. Uh, but that's ten percent of our assets, roughly, and and and, and uh, uh, we probably won't get well. We won't get a chance to do it uh, uh, under these conditions. But conditions change very, very, very rapidly. Sometimes in markets, and we do have people that would like to join us, uh, but the market option they have is just is too great for them. And if they're publicly traded, I mean, they they basically can't. They they would have great difficulty. Well, then making a deal with us because somebody else would come along with using other people's money. It's, you know, we're, we may be unhappy about the 70 billion, but we're very happy about the other 700 billion. <laughs> so it's, it's not, like, not, not like we should complain. Warren, when uh, we spoke before the annual meeting, you said that it was okay if I asked a follow up or two, and I'd like to sure. take one of those right now. You said you bought some stocks that you don't know a lot about. What are they? Well, uh, I, I, I will not get into naming <laughs> what Sox said. Uh, and it may be, may be that there's some there that I think I know about that I don't know about. But we, we, we have bought stocks where uh, Charlie and I, I mean, we know the business generally, but we don't have any insights. Uh, and they are, as a group, if I had to, if, if told me I was going to be shot unless I got the best result. I, I would rather own those stocks than the treasury bills we own. But on the other hand, we work with the quantities of money where uh, if we put $50 billion into things that I'm kind of so-so about but that are better than treasury bills, uh, it doesn't I'm, – I'm not wildly comfortable about that even though it can be undone. It's selling $50 billion to when it's really attractive to buy something else. There's a lot of – there's a lot of – slippage that can happen in moving sums like that around. So that's something we talk about all the time. They're good companies. Uh, they're fine companies. But, but do we know something about those companies or have a, a way of evaluating that gives us an edge? The answer, I, I think, what do, you, what do you feel about it, Charlie? We've talked about it a lot. <laughs> well, of course it's a lot harder. And, and I think one consequence of this present situation is that Bernie Sanders has basically won, and that's because the, with the, everything boomed up so high and interest rates so low, what's going to happen is the millennial generation is going to have a hell of a time getting rich compared to our generation. And so the difference between the rich and the poor in the generation that's rising is going to be a lot less. So Bernie has won. He did it by accident, but he won.